I'm sitting around my fire pit, but those aren't my sausages. Here's the owner of the sausages. <laughs> it's Pete from WA Camping Adventures. G'day you, guys. You might have seen him on uh, YouTube. So what is your channel name? Uh, WA Camping Adventures. Yeah, yep. cool, so I got that right. Yep. And yeah. how long have you been doing it? I think I'm around three years now. So mate, these snags are just the future appetizer for the previous meal, which came last night before we started this intro, but after we started the previous video. Yes. Is that Russell quite enough for you? It's <laughs> <That is> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we have a bit of a, a nibble of these um, pre-dinner snacks, I'm actually making the full meal tonight, which you'll see in a different video. Uh, let's use the magic of editing to go back to Pete's smash burgers last night. You cooking my dinner? Sure am, mate. What sure a man. Am. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to change your life. Ooh, a life changer. I reckon, yeah, I reckon I can promise you this. Honestly, I reckon I can. Tonight, my favourite camp meal is smash burgers. Yeah, okay. So, oh, I can't say it's my favourite smash, uh, my favourite meal. It's trending? Yeah, tr it definitely is. It's yeah, trendy. for sure it is. And it's, I'm always late to trending stuff, so, but yeah. just the, the tastiest. Yeah. Um, We've got a big old bag of meat here. Yeah, so that's, yep. that's like proper 80 20, so 80% lean. 20% fat, Ooh. chuck, and um, brisket. So, what are we cooking on here? This is the uh, Fire Knight, the Coleman Hyperflame Fire Knight, I think. I think yep. it's cool. Um, perfect for smash burgers because you need a lot of heat. Yeah, a okay. lot, a heap of heat. Because, yeah, okay, so pan hot as hell. Hot as you can ever get it, mate. Um, sort of get as close as you can to a hundred gram balls, like a golf ball size. Salt them as well. Um, salt the pan, oil the pan, and then basically it's a matter of grabbing one, dropping it in there like that. Oh, this is where Grandma's iron comes in. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, Nan. Listen to it squeal. Yep. Like that. Do another. Best to use a scraper, eh? Hey? Honestly. Tomato Beautiful. sauce on the bottom. Two mayonnaise boils. on the top. And a <laughs> crap load of both. One. Oh. What sort of bun is that? Potato bun. Yeah. Potato Il bun. Il Granino potato bun. I reckon that makes a world of difference. Oh, brioche mm. works really well, but I've always found it's a better vessel. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice Hold vessel for the meat. <laughs> oh, she's saucy. Mmm. <laughs> that is good, buddy. Yeah. Like it, mate? You can smash my burger any day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I reckon uh, that'll do us for the night. We'll cut this thing before we get too messy. Sounds good, but We're mate. not done for the night, so I don't know what time we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> we'll have some exploring to do yeah. around on the tracks. Can't wait. See the bush, and of course, on this video, you'll be seeing a lot more of the setup behind us. We're packing up a bit. Yeah, mate. Yep. Ready for exploring on the tracks. Seems like a good time to talk about your storage. Yeah, no, nah, sounds good, mate. Um, I basically just got the uh, a drifter draw set up. This was actually the normal um, side by side draw set up. Yep. And what I've done, I don't know what possessed me to do it. I cut them in half because <laughs> I wanted the stacked, uh, the stacked look because yep. I was sick because I'm short. <laughs> I was sick of um, reaching into my fridge at that height, but yeah. I found that I cut it in half. Put the uh, the big drawer on the bottom, little one on the top. Still got the slide out table on there that I can still use and take out fully. Oh, okay. Um, but I think the best thing for me is just having that 
that height and just yeah. set, being, being able to see into the fridge. And also it's given me room to put a travel buddy mm, in, which true. I'm stoked about, mate. Yeah. yeah. So you're a brickie. Yep. How, how did the brickie go um, cutting up a expensive drifter draw system? No, well, there was a, like a fair bit of swearing. I mean, if you check my channel, it looks beautiful and smooth like yeah. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not that way, mate. Um, another thing, don't look too close. Okay. <laughs> don't look yeah. too close. Well, they, they slide. <laughs> Yep. And they haven't fallen to pieces yet, like yep. my woodwork projects do. So <laughs> <laughs> that's not so it's bad. It's only a matter of time, mate. <laughs> I was interested when you said actually that the table comes out. So this has actually got legs under it. Yeah, yeah, like fully comes out. I think it's, oh, maybe, I'm going to say maybe 1100 long. Wow. Yeah, mate, you're good. It so, just keeps going. Yeah. It's even got like a, a granite cooktop finish. Yeah. No, it feels like I'm at home, mate. Yeah, this is flash. <laughs> No, nah, pretty oh, yeah. hard wearing too. I cut stuff straight on top of that. Yeah. Like, you know, tomato, like, you know, veggies and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, I reckon if there's anything I could pick from that, it's like really strong in that. It's just a little bit, I don't know if that's because I've had it for such a long time and it maybe, I can't remember what it was like when I first had it. Yeah. But it, it sort of sways a bit. Yeah, okay. Side to side. So when Not you like get... the old lifestyle. You know, the lifestyle plastic yeah. stretch. Oh, they're brilliant. Yeah, they're just... we were talking about them um, just last night. The ones yeah. you get from, from Bunnings, folding plastic table for 30 bucks. So um, down the bottom, what do you keep in this bottom drawer? So bottom, I've sort of tried to keep the weight in the bottom one. As you can see, yeah. it's sort of a bit bit more resistance bit to compared to the top one. So I yeah. keep my um, cast iron pan in there yep. at the bottom, my camp oven in there. So basically the bottom one is like a um, cooking department. Yep. So I've got uh, tent pegs, well, tent pegs and axes in there. I've got my little um, like hiking, propane, butane, hiking pot yeah, hiking set. stove. Yeah. <laughs> Just like really easy to drag out and quickly yeah, exactly. boil up some water yep. or something like That's that. That's what I do, me little hot chocolates or something on, nice and quick instead of pulling out the whole cooking. Yeah. You know? Then, yeah, camp oven there, spare propane um, and butane in there. Yep. And plates and cups, cutlery, chopping boards, mm. um, you know, wipes and stuff like that. Just like a, uh, I don't know, like a cooking cupboard, maybe? Yep. yep. And then the top one, um, yeah, have a feel of that, mate. I reckon you'll see the top one is how the bottom one used to slide. I reckon I, I might have gotten a measurement out Yeah. <laughs> in the bottom one. It's insane that it's not on I know, rollers. mate. I know. It really I feels know. like it. Mark was saying that before. It's just insane how nice it does. I, I mean, you yeah. just always got to make sure you throw a bit of silicon spray. Like yeah, good okay. quality silicon spray on those. And it just a little bit of maintenance like brand new. here and yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Um, so this is obviously food storage up yeah, here. Full pantry up the top. So sauces, oil, cling wrap, baking paper. And then I just keep a um, the grab me gear bag in there. I yep. keep that in there. It'll be empty before a trip. And then just on like the day... Uh, the day of the trip, I'll fill that up with, you know, the chips, rolls, yeah. whatever I meal plan for that for Yeah, that trip. so you can take the whole pouch out, yeah, bring it inside yep, and definitely. Um, throw your stuff in instead of having to carry out armfuls of yeah, crap exactly, and load it in. Exactly. I can safely say at the moment I'm, I'm happy, happy with the whole setup. There's nothing I want to change right now. That's the drawers, and yep. then we've got the chili bin here. The chili bin. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's a uh, Waco CFX 65 DZ, like a dual zone. Oh, yeah. mate, so you've got a freezer in there. Yeah, yeah, I have. Got to, got to carry the ice, mate, for the Morgans. What brand slide is it? Uh, that's the Waco slide that come with it. It yeah. actually come with it, and surprisingly, Ooh. that has been beat up. Yeah. Uh, it makes a bit of noise, um, but yeah. I don't really seem to notice it. It's just really been strong, you know? So yeah, stoked wicked. with it, really happy with it. Did you buy that whole setup new? Yeah, yeah, the whole setup I um, bought in a in a combo. I, I remember just seeing that model and yeah. at, as bad as this sounds, I remember seeing all for adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit of a, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm a fan of them. So I'm, yeah. I saw what they put it through and I've, I've loved it, mate. I really yeah. have. Doesn't yeah. use too much power? Not, not that I've noticed. Um, I mean, I've yeah. just gotten a new battery, but when it first started, uh, at, it uses a fair bit more when you do set it to freezer and fridge because yeah. you have to set it to minus 10 minus 14 yeah um but if you use the whole thing as a fridge you only have to set it to one or two That's, you know so yeah. it uses a lot less and you'll find the compressors not working, working as hard. much yeah yeah and then you got travel buddy up yeah here. yeah only recently just got that and I, I love it absolutely love it so i thought I, I was meant to actually get one of them you know a year or two ago yeah but i don't think my battery was up to it you know as it was mm. when my battery was the worst the fridge would turn off and that frustrating yeah whereas now i've got it all properly done with you know the red arc um 
uh, what do you call it, the DC, BC, oh, yeah, DC, BC, DC charger. Yeah. Um, and then I got the solar. So I'll make sure if I'm stopped on the side of the road or something like that, or at camp cooking lunch, I'll throw the solar on yeah. the um, to... on the bonnet just to try and keep it going because it yeah. draws ten amps, you know. Yeah, they're so, pretty thirsty thing. Yeah, but it's so convenient. I really they are, mate. Yeah, but I reckon for anyone who wants to get a travel buddy, it's just make sure that you allow plenty of time it's it's yep. like double it's yeah, double. Okay. and always put it on full that's what i reckon i've learned yep. so far i've only done about three or four meals in it yep. and i wanted to do another one for lunch today and see mm. what you thought you know yeah that'd be awesome yeah. so it's a long slow cook with the travel buddy. it is it is but it's just handy because you sort of know if it's working because you smell it throughout your car yeah, yeah. it just tortures you for the next <laughs> it two does, or three right? hours 100 percent, it does especially yeah. doing a slow cook roast start that <laughs> at eight in the morning come at 11 o'clock it's yeah, starting to smell exactly exactly so i haven't tried anything big like that usually main reason i got it now is just for lunch yeah you know so i'll throw a couple of chicken wings in or you yeah. know a little potato bake or something like that yeah. like today which yeah. i'll show as well but yeah see how we go mate Wet stuff, buddy. Yep. Yeah, I saw you dangling a hose out oh, the back here before. Yep. <laughs> and I can see it tucked up there. Yep. How do you store your water? So, literally just got a 20 litre um, jerry can. Uh, tucked just behind the fridge recess there. Yep. And it's just gravity fed. Mm -hmm. Easy, won't break. If yep. it does break, I'll know, because it's coming out the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty it. simple, mate, honestly. Just a little tap on the end. Oh, yeah? Yep. Actually, I'll tell you, I'm not going to take credit for that. That's from... Um, Seek Adventure, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was a bloody champion, that guy. Um, mate, if you're ever watching, you're a, you're an absolute legend. Come back. We <laughs> miss you. <ya>. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just a simple tap. Yeah, actually, there yeah, it go. doesn't do too bad. So the gravity magic? Yeah, I literally only use it maybe to wash a dish um, or to do a bit of showering or something, but, yep. you know, not, I rarely use the the full 20 litres. Yeah, so you don't yeah. use it for drinking water? No, no I don't because <laughs> I feel like I've tainted it because um, I used to have green garden hose on it and just yeah, stupid okay. here, it sort of, you know, that taste. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like it's still in there. So I just use that for washing my hands, you know, doing my teeth and stuff like that. So. What do you no, do for drinking water? Drinking water, I basically just bring those cheap bottles, you know, the big... Um, big oh, plastic bottles? Yeah, like Mount Franklin or whatever, you know. Yep. Um, three or four of them. Stow them just away keep them. in the food drawer and in yeah, the fridge. Yeah, exactly, and, and just swap them over to keep them cold. Yep. So, yeah, not too bad. I mean, worse come to worse, I don't care. I'll drink out of that if it if, if it comes to it, you know? Yeah. I'll tell you, me and my wife um, call this the divorce table. Oh, she, no. If she's watching this, she'll know. <laughs> <laughs> we built this together, mate. Um, it worked well. Yeah. It really worked well, but... Um, Came near to the divorce. I'm not going to say it worked well. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> it works well now. Yeah, yeah. But getting here was a team building it exercise. Defin <laughs> it grew your marriage to strengths you never thought could have been possible. <laughs> Definitely. I used to have me, um, you know, uh, the fish baskets. Oh, yeah. That you can grill over the fire. Have yeah. that fixed on the back there. It fits nicely. Yeah. But that worn down. So, yeah. Very good. Loved it. And then finally, just a little, you've popped a, yeah. couple, of, popped a couple of grommets out of your back door. Yep. And just an yeah, run a little in. yeah, oki across and works yeah, well as a towel, paper towel dispenser. dispenser. Couple of knives. <laughs> One final quick note: solar screens as well. Yep, solar screens. Got them second hand off of um, Graham. Um, he, yeah, he's got a YouTube channel. He's a champion as well. Um, yeah, got them second hand off of him. Yeah. But I tell you what, I can never get them to stick. Mm. Never get them to stick. They're always just popping off. Yeah. I mean, I don't try double sided tape. I just need something stronger. Yeah. But makes a huge difference to the back though it, it, it's meant to cool it down 10 yeah, degrees it does they and do make yeah. a big difference so, keep the sun off your fridge yeah exactly so I, I love them but i reckon they just need to come up with something a bit better with the, the yeah. suction caps you know yeah if you've got tips for keeping solar screens attached let us yeah, know yeah absolutely the i'd like to know as well yeah <laughs> see what else we can try I've, I've tried a lot of spit all the spit in the world doesn't help <laughs> uh, uh, let's good. go up the front and have a look at your power setup sounds hey? good mate Let's talk about power. What keeps your fridge and your travel buddy and all your lights going? Yep. A battery, um, obviously. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, mate, just a really simple setup for me. I just want to, at the end of the day, know that it won't fail on me and it will work the best that it can. I've got a 110 amp hour um, AGM battery. Yep. Just to run lights, fridge, and the travel buddy at the back. Yep. Uh, I've got the Red Arc BC DC 1225D. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Not rehearsed at all, mate. Mm, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was installed by the guys down at uh, Nash Tech Auto Elec uh, Electrics. Yep. Uh, absolute legends. I know a bloke that works here, and they're all, all really nice blokes. Yeah, they've and done a nice that, job. Yeah. Look at this laser cut bracket here for the charger. Yeah. 
Oh, I think that. Flash. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he ordered that in as well, and he mm. just made done a brilliant job, absolute brilliant job. And then you got the um, solar output there down on the bar, on the bull bar. So it saves me sort of having to pop this and yeah. alligator clip it, you know. So I'll just yep. plug it straight in there, and then it does its thing, mate. And I know before I had that BCDC charger, I had the um, what do you call it, the smart isolator. Oh yeah, the oh, SBI right. 12. Oh, well done. Right yeah, on. I had yep. that, and that never failed on me. I, I like the idea of that as well. Yeah. But um, since I got the travel buddy, I timed it in time with that. You know. Yeah. So yeah, good. Very you, happy. You do very get a happy. lot more out of your batteries with this, and yep. a lot more out of your solar as well. Yeah, I uh, agree. Because yeah. he he actually said to me, he goes, um, use your solar whenever you can, even at home, because it'll prolong the life of the battery as yeah. well. So I'm. Um, been trying to stick to that yeah save you some money in the long run oh definitely yeah <laughs> so she runs fridge travel buddy um and you've got some lights around the outside yeah yeah so. just a simple um <clears throat> two uh well earth track two lights on the side yeah just to, that shine out in the side i think they're uh six five watts each yep. i think um don't call me on that one and then at the back i've got two more at the back nice bright ones which yep. i'm bloody happy with um yeah, that's that's pretty much it for lighting, mate. Um, you know, spotties and that I think run off of this one. Yeah, off of my um, starting battery. So apart from that, mate, pretty simple. Everything's nothing over the top. Pretty, just, no, not at all. Just I'm not like simple, that. Simple <laughs> but well done. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so. I think it's good, reliable. Well, I think we might carry on a bit later on. Talk about some more stuff. Your swag. S and sounds good, some mate. More camping business. Awesome. I think we're all about ready to go for a bit of a drive. Explore this place. I'm tonguing. See what you can find. <laughs> <laughs> Mint, mate. See you soon. Relax, mate. Oh, mate. Hey, time to film your swag, buddy. Yeah, that was good. That was nice. <laughs> Come on, mate. You don't have time for relaxing. The people want to know where you sleep. Oh, I had plenty. Had plenty of time. I'm relaxed, as. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bang, he's ready to go. <laughs> so I got the big canvas thing that rolls yep. up during the day, yep. comes out during the night, and you sleep in it. What exactly is it? What's the details? Yeah, so this is a Zempire Ranger, 1200 mil wide. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just to inf the the main drawing point is inflatable uh, pole. Yeah, it's got one inflatable pole. There one is a pole. downside to like best swag I've ever owned, but there yeah. is a downside which is it's not freestanding. Yeah, just um, got to have that. Out yeah, at each you're end. always going to have that there. But best, most comfortable swag I've ever ever used. Mm. Love it, mate. We got a, a PVC base on it. Yeah, PVC base. I've had this in torrential rain, and. Not a not a drip, not a bloody drip. Yeah, beauty. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Empire. And sorry, and it, um, another thing is you can only get out from this side. Like oh, it rolls right back to there. You could yeah, probably so get out, but if the, you were really dead keen, but you exactly, probably <laughs> try not to. The, the main thing that I loved it for was this. Just like, oh yeah, you, you can't sort of break yeah. it. Yeah, so I'm, when you get, you get really pissed at night and you yeah. don't quite make it in and Good. you just pass out on top of it. I'm glad you brought it up because that's exactly what I was <laughs> yeah, describing, <wicked>. mate. <laughs> it's bulletproof. Just no, I love it. I really do love it because inside, um, most comfortable, like for a bloke my size, turning on your side, obviously, yeah, you know, you get, on most other swags I've slept in, you get, you know, Every any lump in the ground, you, yeah. you cop it in the hip. This one here, surprisingly touch wood, really good. I've had it for like nearly two years now. Yeah. And it's got a nice 70 mil mattress in it. Well, 70 mil, that's pretty Yeah, yeah, pretty so hefty. very good. stoked with that. And it fits back in its bag, mate. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So like proper big, canvas bag with it? Yeah, yeah, proper nice. canvas bag with it. Yeah. Uh, the pump's a bit bulky. Yeah, true. Um, but it still fits in there no matter what. So yeah, it's pretty quick to pump up. It is, yeah, very quick. So yeah, I actually have the um, the family tent, like the small Jet Set Five. Yeah. Of this, or, uh, of like a, a larger family tent, which I'm. Yeah. Gonna try out. So see yeah. how we go, mate. So it's always been swag for you. Definitely, yeah. Always swag. I've I've gone from you know swag on a stretcher. Yep. You know swag on the ground, but I think this is just the easiest simplest way for me to get a nice sleep i mean at the end of the day i think it's about the mattress yeah 
um, open it up and yep. we'll see how you've got it set up inside. Easy, mate. Yeah, so that goes right back. Folds right open. Yeah, it does. So if you really wanted to, you could. On those super hot nights, if you wanted to just yep. have the fly screen and stare up at the sky. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Just yeah, a so doona, just a doona and um just one doona and a and couple a pillow. of pillows. Keeps you warm enough. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, now. That's good. Until I get sort of the right sleeping bag with the you know with the flannelette inside. That's what I want. Uh, that's what yeah. I'm looking for, a good one. Yeah. Yeah, we've got one of them. They're, they're pretty neat. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Spend the coin, get a good one, yeah. and they'll last you forever. Yeah, exactly. And this is quite bulky. <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> doona folded in four. Yeah, true. Very does it, bulky. Um, does it roll up with the doona in the swag? And um, in the bag? I would, I dare say it easily, easily would, because I've got a fair bit of left, even once I've packed it all up. I, I've still got, got a fair bit of room. So yeah. I, I, I might try that tomorrow morning. Nice. Yep. Um, Not with the pillows though. I doubt it with the pillows. Yeah, yeah, that would um, be a yeah. bit of a stretch. I you actually, so. you have a pretty recent review on this, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, love it. Uh, probably about oh, six months ago now. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And the only the only thing hard doing about a review, like doing a review for this, mm. is it's discontinued. Oh, yeah, you can't get it anymore. <laughs> Okay, so if you'd like to dream on the perfect swag setup, <laughs> go and watch his review. Just for a bit of fun. And look at what you could have had if you'd only sort of been there a little earlier. Yeah, exactly what you could have had. No. Yeah, <laughs> Let's um, pop up to the, the vehicle. I want to yep. see what this awning's like. Sounds good, mate. So that's where you sleep, and uh, this thing opens up and creates shade. Sure does. The magic of awnings. What sort of <laughs> awning is it? This is a Drifter 270. Drifter 270 degree awning. It's like heavy, heavy mm. duty canvas. Yep. One of the uh, the best awning I've owned, mm. um, but I reckon it's getting a bit outdated. Yeah. Just, you know, look at, looking at yours, it yep. takes you, you know, one or two minutes to fully set up. Yeah. With me, it takes me a while. And if, yeah, if you've got a wind coming in, you're buggered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it goes all the way around the back of the car, like, mm -hmm. like my one. Yep. And you have to peg it on each. Yeah. Um, it's got peggable feet. Yeah. So that's handy. I find I've got some pegs in there that are perfect for that sort of go straight through the foot. Yeah. And that is almost enough but yeah. i also in the bag because it's a nice big bag i keep the guy ropes in there nice so the guy as i fold it out the guy ropes drop down so i can basically just yep. drop a peg not even through the foot and um just tie it straight off and it, and it works beautiful i mean once you got it properly set up it's not going anywhere yep. like full on <laughs> yeah yeah you were so saying it takes good. you about seven minutes hey yeah alone alone it would take me seven minutes and i wouldn't even bother setting it up in wind Mm. Like, I, I wouldn't even bother. Yep. I'd have to have someone with me to hold that corner and definitely get the corner uh, down. Okay. Because it's devastating when it goes over. Just be yeah, moving so, around oh. too much. Has it yeah. happened before? Oh, it's happened twice. Yeah, yeah. It's happened twice on that knuckle there. Yeah. It just breaks straight off. So yeah. I've just got a couple of replacement knuckles and then you just rivet it in. Yeah, Literally so carry could, a rivet gun with me. You could just order them from, from Drifter, could you? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Rivet yeah. gun with They're you. They're <laughs> pretty penny. Like, they, yeah. like, because you obviously have to pay for them to get over here. Yeah. Um, but just like all this stuff, it's good quality. Like, I'm love it but i think i'm just yeah like it's yeah. very old now it's a bit yeah you know, people outdated. have come along and improved a little bit definitely design yeah i looked at yours then. i thought yeah i want one of them yeah so. well mate we pulled another late one last night another another yeah. one love it though wouldn't have it any other way no oh, it was good <laughs> just you get a few drinks deep and the fire's still going and you go full deep and meaningful so yeah. the fire are you sure that's coffee in there buddy no it might be a little bit something <laughs> else a bit of irish you know <laughs> irish coffee mm. Got some bacon going for brekkie mm. and um beautiful before we pack up we'll we'll finish talking about your camp setup sounds good something that i ask other people is what's your little camp luxury um or something special that you like to take along yep. camping with you uh, so what have you come up with geez um <laughs> i think the whole theme of this video has been it's very very simple setup oh, so yeah. there's you know, no coffee machines or anything hectic like that. Yeah, um, which is great Simply because I can't afford them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I think the most special thing I have, I think I take a lot of pride in these axes. They, I absolutely, the Grand Sports Brux, they're Swedish handmade. Yeah, they're like okay. handmade and they're just wow. absolutely beautiful. And I, I didn't actually buy these. I was getting, um, given these by a chap uh, named Simon over in, um, over in Sydney there, he, he uh, runs a shop called Dawn Mowers, but he's, he's 
there's no affiliation. He's just a, a really nice bloke. I've become good mates with him. Yeah. And he specialises in this stuff. He sent it across to me and he goes, because I think he might have seen me using a, a pretty crappy axe. Yeah, okay. Um, in my in my starting videos. And he, um, he goes, mate, I'm going to send you this over. Um, and it'll be the best act you'll ever have. I think his exact words were, um, you'll sleep with it, you'll love it that much. Yeah, <laughs> has that happened? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Can, can't you see the abrasive marks on it? No. <laughs> 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 no, but I find that this one here I use the most. Yeah. The, um, it, this is like a, a mini splitter. I've got yeah, the big okay. one in there that he sent across. Yeah. And a mini splitter. That one there is more like showy. It's just a beautiful feeling act, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good, nice. for, good for throwing. Good no, I'm only joking. I don't have a clue how to do it. Oh, this one's still got a bit of blood on it. <laughs> yeah, they, I was gonna say, mate, they look really good for like cutting fingers, particularly maybe just across the side there. <laughs> Mark just behind the camera cut himself with one of these axes about an hour ago. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. I think this is probably one of the last points we have to cover off. Um, I've talked to most people about how they shower, keep clean in the bush. Yep. A lot of people have hot water systems yep. and, and showers on board. Um, but you don't. I've seen nothing of the sort. How do no. you keep clean out in the bush? So if I'm doing anything over two nights, I'll because um, I've got the jerry there, I will heat up some water on the fire and just use one of those submersible, simple. Yep. Twenty twenty dollar yep. twelve volt. Yeah, really thing. cheap. Yep. Yeah, and it seems to work really mm, well. That's my favourite. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be pretty reliable. Um, I don't need much water for that. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. wash yourself. Yep. Quickly froth up, turn it off while you're doing it. I yeah. don't use much at all. Um, anything over two nights, I'll take a shower with me. Yeah. Um, but anything under that, it's the old shower in a bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Um, and geez, uh, this is going to sound sort of soft, but hand sanitizer is like a big thing. Yep. I, I mean, as in, you know, once you've sort of cut up some snaggers or cut up like a lamb roast, yep. you, your fingers are fatty as. Yeah. So that's just something I wipe my hands quickly. Just I, I, I like having clean, clean hands, mate. Yeah. yeah. But everywhere else is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you live yeah. there, it's part of the fun, hey? Yeah, exactly, but that's it, mate, that's it. Just a couple of wipes. I mean, they're, they're dual use for me, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bloody oath, yeah. You just gotta be careful what body part you start with. Make sure you follow the right routine. Yeah, front to back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> front to back? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna be able to use it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, mate. Well, yeah. long ago the bacon finished up. Yeah, mate. How good is that? We can go and slap that in some buns and wraps, have ourselves a bit of brekkie. Oops, time to hop in. Ah, the fly patch. It still lingers. <laughs> it still lingers. <laughs> Poured a bit of uh, juice from the meat there last night and the flies are loving it. They are. <laughs> it's the end of our weekend, guys. Thanks for coming out, Pete. Thanks, awesome. Alex. Bloody great to meet you, mate. Hope it's not the last time. Nah, for sure. I'm really looking forward to doing some yeah, more content mate. in the future. Can't wait. If you've enjoyed watching um, Pete's camp setup video here, make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel. If you hated the video, hit that thumbs down button twice. And uh, Pete here, WA Camping Adventures. Make sure you have a look at his channel. I reckon, as I've said before, if you like Intense, you'll really enjoy his stuff. Thanks. Thanks, mate. Good man. Appreciate it. Let's Cheers, head off, buddy. Hey? Sounds good. See you later. Cheers, Alex.